Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. One of my students from Bangladesh has a problem with the sign of power, negative and positive sign. Although his questions relates to the uh, uh, network analysis, but when I looked into my slides, I found that I have not made any slide about on this topic even from the circuit analysis part. So in this uh, video, I'll uh, take care of the circuit analysis first of all, and then the next video, uh, I'll take care of ENA. Okay, there's a very, very uh, funny and simple way to uh, understand this. Uh, assume this guy is the father, and he is sending money to the son. Now, what would be the mood of the father? Obviously, it will be negative, he has gone bankrupt almost. And what will be the mood of this son? Obviously, it will be positive. Now, if we relate this to the power, then power supplied will have a negative sign. Negative sign. The power is supplying, so power supplied will have a negative sign. And opposite of that, that the power consumed will have a positive sign. So this is one point you have to keep in mind. And there is another one, which is called the Passive Sign Convention, PSC for short. This is an arbitrary rule defining the sign of electrical power. So we'll talk of this as well here. Let's say this is a circuit we don't know. What is it? It is a load or a source. But one point you have to note that the current is going out of the positive terminal. So if the current goes out of the positive terminal, that means it is kind of a battery. The conventional uh, current flow in a battery goes out from the positive terminal. So this is a battery or a source, we can say. And then we can conclude that current leaving positive terminal means a source. So generally, this is true, but there may be some exceptions that we'll see when we are uh, uh, dealing with the problems. And so the power in case of a source will be, as we discussed, it will be negative. So power will be with the negative sign, voltage multiplied by current. Just opposite of this, if the current is entering the positive side, a positive sign, so this will represent a load, maybe a resistor, and just opposite applies current entering the positive terminal means a load, and its, its sign will be positive, so power will be positive V times I. So these two points, if you keep in mind, we'll have no problem in solving uh, the chapter one questions. Okay, so first of all, we'll discuss example 1.7, find the power supplied or absorbed by each element. So this is the circuit, we'll just follow the rule, very, very simple. We are applying PSC rule. And in the first case, you see this is P1 and this current is leaving the positive sign. So the current leaving the positive sign means the power will have a negative sign or it is a source, so negative sign. 20 volt multiplied by current, so negative 100 watt. What about P2? Current is entering the positive sign, so it will have a positive sign. What is happening here? Current is entering the positive sign, so this will also have a positive sign. And what about this one? We'll, we'll discuss this later. Let's first of all write the P2, so 12 times current, 60 watt. P3, 8 times the current, 48 watt. And now coming to P4. Now this is a current source uh, depending on this current I. So current dependent current source. And we don't have a sign here, but what we can guess from here, that since this is in parallel, therefore the positive at the top, so positive at the top. So what is happening? Current is leaving the positive sign. And when current is leaving the positive, that means we'll have a negative power. So this is negative 8 into 0 0.2 into I. I is 5 ampere. So this will be minus 8 watt. 
And then there is a rule which is called the law of conservation of energy, that is sum of total power is equal to zero. So let's verify that. The total power P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus P4, we write all these and this total is equal to zero. That means the law of conservation of energy is valid. Okay, then we come to practice problem. We will follow exactly the same technique. For P1, current is leaving the positive terminal. So although the, it is not mentioned, but this is behaving as a current, uh, as a source. So PSC, so this one, current leaving from the positive, therefore it will have a negative sign with the power. What is happening here? Current is entering the positive sign. Also, although we can see that this is a battery, but we will just follow the PSC rule. If current enters the positive sign, our power will be positive. So we'll write this power, 2 volt into 9, 18 watt positive. And similarly, P3, current is entering the positive sign, so this is also positive. Okay, this one I just explained, that although it, it is a source, but since the current is entering the positive sign, power will have a positive sign. Okay, P3, uh, 0 0.6 into I is 9, sorry, this I is 5 in this case, and multiply by 4, so it will be 12 watt positive, and this is also current is entering the positive sign, so positive. And then the law of conservation, we can verify. We add all of them and we get answer zero. So therefore, our answer is correct. 1.7 is a very simple question. The all four powers are given except for P3. So we have to find uh, the power P3. And also we have to confirm whether it is a receiving power or delivering power. So let me redraw this with the values given here and we write the powers. So straight away we write this should be zero sum of all the powers. So we are writing all the powers except for P3. We don't know P3. And from here we can calculate where this is equal to zero, therefore P3 is plus 70 watt. Now since it is a plus sign, that means this element is consuming power or receiving power. 118, same technique. This one current is leaving the positive sign, so minus P2 current entering the positive sign, uh, so plus. P3 current entering the positive sign, so plus. And P4, now P4 current is entering the negative terminal. We have not discussed the entering of the negative terminal, but we can just uh, think and conclude that if the current entering po uh, the positive terminal, then the power becomes positive. Just opposite of that, if the current is entering the negative terminal, then the power will be negative. So we can write P4 as negative, voltage times current, negative 32. And then P5 is also a source, current is leaving the positive terminal, therefore this is, will be negative sign. And here also summation of uh, all these should be zero and you can verify that yes it is. 119, slightly tricky, let's see, same rule, I just written them P1, P2, P3, P4, applying PSC, P1, the current is leaving the positive terminal, so negative sign, P2, current is entering the positive sign, so positive, P3 current is entering the positive sign, so it is positive. Now, how much is the power? We don't know the value of current, therefore, 
it is voltage times the current with positive sign and similarly here current is entering the positive sign so positive voltage into current now we have to find the value of i and then we have to find the power absorbed by each element so again we uh, apply the uh, conservation of energy rule putting all these values we calculate i to be 6 ampere now these two values we do, were in terms of i so now we'll plug in the values of i so p3 is 18 watt and p4 is 36 watt and then 120 question and chapter question we have to find v0 this and also find the power absorbed by each element same technique just mark these p1 p2 p3 p1 current now current is entering the negative terminal and if you just extend it that means it will leave the positive terminal so current leaving the positive terminal we know power will be negative so negative 30 into the current 6 p2 current entering the positive terminal so positive power p3 current entering the positive terminal so but we don't know the value of voltage so we we'll write it as it is v0 into 3 and p4 is current entering the positive terminal so 2 into 28 volt p5 current entering the positive terminal so 1 into 28 and p6 the current is leaving the positive terminal therefore this will have negative power and so it is minus 5 i naught is how much 2 and uh, current is 3 so minus 30 and again by conservation it should be 0 and when we add everything from here we can calculate v0 because p3 is in terms of v0 so v0 is 18 volt and now i'll put this value here to find even p3 in terms of watt so p3 is 54 watt so i hope you have been able to follow this please let me know through your comments thank you